Today I'm really excited because I'm starting a new series called Kim's Folsom Housing Market Today, May 2021. So every month, around the middle of the month, I'm gonna be posting a video on our channel and it's gonna be a lot of numbers, a lot of statistics on the market. So it's not for everyone, but if you're a numbers person, I think you'll enjoy this. Hit the button below, subscribe. You're gonna love our channel. We give a lot of information. I'm gonna do monthly housing market updates and Fran and I are touring new construction homes because quite frankly, with this low inventory in the housing market, you know, buying a brand new home may be the way to go. So I'll, we'll talk about that too. So be sure and subscribe to our channel. Again, hit that bell. We hope you enjoy. Let's start with the market. Folsom housing market update. Okay, so here we go. What's driving the prices up? It's just crazy out there right now. I mean, offers are being bid up, you know, 25, 50, a hundred thousand dollars over asking. I mean, I've, we, the experts, we've never seen anything like this before. What's causing it? With regard to the number of offers that we're seeing, we're seeing very, a lot of houses that have, you know, sometimes up to 20 offers, which is just, in my opinion, ridiculous. But again, it goes back to that supply and demand. And part of the problem is that a lot of agents are listing their houses too low. So it's bidding, you know, you're getting lots of offers that way. And I don't know if that's really the smartest thing to do. I don't know if that's servicing our sellers um, because they're, the sellers are really confused and overwhelmed by the number of offers. But that's what it is and that's just my opinion right so there's a couple of contingencies you have when you're making an offer that protect the buyer so you have the inspection contingency you have your appraisal contingency that's appraisal is what the bank orders they want to make sure that the house is really at the value of the contract price and then you have your loan contingency so you have three contingencies. Well, in a normal market, this is great, right? You've got time um, to do your investigations, time for the appraisal, time to think about things. In this market, no, you don't have that. In this market, a lot of buyers are having to remove all their contingencies, including the loan, which I don't like to do that. But in some cases, you know, if a client really wants the house, they're removing all their contingencies. So we're seeing some cash buyers, um, not, not a ton of cash buyers. It's only a small percentage of cash buyers out there. Same with the number of Bay Area buyers. It's a small percentage. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna throw out some numbers at you, some good statistics, and hope you enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You don't wanna miss a single episode. So monthly, again, as a reminder, monthly around the middle of the month or so, I'm gonna post monthly housing market reports. Now the average sold price is appreciating. The average sold price in April in Folsom was 727,000, up 18.6% from 613,000 in April of last year and up 2.7% from 708 last month. Let's talk about the months of inventory based on pended sales. The April 2021 months of inventory based on pended sales of 0.4 was decreased by 83.2% compared to last year and up 35.2% compared to just last month. If you haven't figured it out by now, it is definitely a seller's market. April property sales were 94, which is up a whopping 100% from only 47 in April of 2020 and 17.5% higher than the 80 sales last month. Versus last year, the total number of properties available this month is lower by 85 units of 70.2%. This year's smaller inventory means that buyers who waited to buy may have smaller selection to choose from. The number of current inventory, however, is up 44% compared to last month. There was an increase of 9.1% in the pending properties in April with 96 properties versus 88 last month. This month's pended property sales were 81.1% higher 
than this time last year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and check back next month around the middle of the month. I'll give you a heads up a couple days before. Let's see what the market's gonna do next month. It's gonna be really interesting how this is all gonna play out. I don't think we're looking at a housing crash at all, but you know, you never know. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Sac Homes and Happenings, and leave a comment on whether or not you like this video. I hope you found it valuable and hope to see you soon. Catch you next time. Oh!